The following program may contain elements not suitable for all ages. Performances are conducted by trained professionals. Viewer discretion is advised. Kicking things off today on NEW Evolved, we have one half of the NEW Tag Team Champions, the Thoroughbred, Blake Maxwell, taking on Matt Burns, with the stipulation that if Burns wins, he and new tag team partner, TJ Taylor, get a shot at the family business and the NEW Tag Team titles. Then, in our main event, the Hellraiser, Justin Locke, wasting no time accepting all challenges for his newly acquired Interprovincial Championship. Puts the title on the line against Bulldog Brandon Hines and X-Rated Steve Arsenal in a blockbuster triple threat main event. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NEW Evolve today, and what a treat here kicking us off. My close personal friend, John Biz, and one half of the NEW Tag Team Champions, Blake Maxwell, as he makes his way to the ring here today for a special challenge, Travis Canning, where he takes on Matt Burns, and if Burns can defeat Maxwell, he gets a shot at the NEW Tag Team titles with partner TJ Taylor. And here we have some highlights of a recent contest uh, between TJ Taylor and Maxwell from uh, one of our live events in Twillingate, Newfoundland. And if you thought the Toothless Wonders were abound in the CLB Armory, you should see this crowd here in Twillingate. You're so insulting. I'm Why not you insulting. insulting. Our I'm fans just speaking like the that. truth. I just can't help it. Well, your truth is a little bit, uh, you know, convoluted. No, I don't think so. And here's Blake Maxwell celebrating as he should as he has TJ Taylor down on the ground. And I have to admit, the fans here in Twillingate absolutely rabid for the young upstart T.J. Taylor. T.J. Taylor has recently become a fan favorite across the province. And uh, you can see partner Matt Burns there in the corner cheering him on while Alexander Guthrie uh, lurks about kind of waiting maybe for an opportunity to intervene and Blake Maxwell gets those glasses kicked directly off of his face that's a very that's insulting I can't believe you would do that to him why would he wear his glasses during a wrestling match it's just showing off for the fans in Twillingate they've probably never seen anyone with something fancy like glasses before so you know anyway I digress TJ Taylor wasting time here arguing with Alexander Guthrie and Blake Maxwell he's just ready to capitalize but Alexander Guthrie has his nose where it doesn't belong right now, as you can see, and the referee has his back turned, and here's Blake Maxwell with the title belt. Oh, wow, and he almost... Swing and a miss. And oh, a... TJ with a massive super kick to the face. Devastating super kick. I can't agree with it, but the referee kind of lost control here as TJ goes in and hooks the leg. One, two, three. And <sighs> TJ gets a victory here over Blake Maxwell. Here we go, back to live action at the CLB Armory. Blake Maxwell looking to make up for that slight misstep in Twillingate, and he's going to put the boots to Matt Burns here today. I can promise you that. There's no way in, in God's green earth that TJ Taylor and Matt Burns are going to get a shot at those tag team titles. We will just have to wait and see. I think Matt Burns is more than up to the challenge here. Yeah, more than up to the challenge of losing. That's about all he's good for. And here we go, Blake. He's going to make quick work. That's right, Blake. Show him what it's all about. That's right, then he gets a few pictures there, Mr. Tucker. That's right, get some pictures. And all those fans, look at the little mealy mouth kid there. Sit down. I you think Blake's just avoiding uh, having a confrontation with Matt Burns here. I don't think so. Matt Burns now going to play to the fans here for a little bit. 
This okay. might be a bit of a mistake, Mr. Canning. It might very well be. Well, Blake decides not to capitalize. See, if that was me, I just would have hit him from behind, rolled him off, one, two, three, and we're done. And Blake is showboating again just to see, you know, they're trying to see if they can get the fans on their side here, and I think Matt Burns is clearly the fan favorite in this situation. I don't know why. I don't know why he would be. Blake is a stallion. I can't see what people don't see in him. That's right, see? He oh. went to the well once too often, and Blake Maxwell makes him pay. And he's laying waste to Matt Burns here in the corner. Well, it seems to me that Blake may, may have been suckering him in, waiting for the right opportunity to capitalize. That's right, Blake Maxwell, student of the game, trained by Lance Storm. He knows all the ins and outs inside the squared circle. Matt Burns with a huge clothesline over the top rope sends Blake right to the floor. That was a devastating fall to the floor there for Blake Maxwell. And you can see John Biz stepping in, helping his client back up to his feet. I think Blake might be underrating uh, Matt Burns here a little bit. Uh, I just think that uh, Blake's just waiting for the right opportunity to step in and capitalize on a misstep by Matt Burns. And Matt Burns giving chase here to Blake Maxwell as Blake Maxwell rolls back into the ring. And this may be what I was talking about, and it was Blake waiting for his opportunity. Blake using some underhanded tactics as, as the family business has been known for, but at the same point in time, you can certainly see the experience factor certainly uh, lies in Blake's favor. Certainly, yes, and you can see Blake uh, focusing on an area, wearing down the arm there of Matt Burns, maybe to apply some type of submission maneuver to put him away, but Blake Maxwell, he, he has so much in his repertoire that we see him uh, utilize inside the squared circle that he can really put you away with a number of different ways. I 100% agree, and uh, you know, it makes me wonder why uh, their matches often end the way they do in, in uh, you know, underhanded manner, you know. Here you go again with this underhanded manner stuff. I thought we were through this, you know. We had a chat that you weren't going to bring these things up anymore because these untruths that you speak about my friend John Business, there's no need of it. Blake Maxwell, look at the power of Blake Maxwell picking up the big man there, laying waste to that arm. A classic, classic maneuver there. Your friend John Business, the philanthropist? Yes, that's right, the philanthropist. He must have paid you off. Is that what that is? He donated okay, money no need to, to, pay me to off. the Todd Winters uh, fund or oh, something? The Todd, the Todd Winters fund. You're so funny. Give it up. Give it up here today and stop speaking ill of my good friend. We're here to focus on the match. Blake Maxwell laying waste to Matt Burns. Keeping it going. Burns really hasn't been able to get much going here today. He hasn't been able to get out of the gate, as they say. Uh, no, and that's a tough task to do once you get this far in and Blake has a good grasp. As we see, Burns here might try to take advantage like getting a lucky break here, but uh, uncharacteristic Burns going to the top or the middle rope here, and you can see why the absolute misstep does not capitalize on that attempted drop kick. A for effort, but no dice. I don't remember Burns ever doing a drop kick in any of his matches. I think he just decided to do something, pull a rabbit out of a hat to try to get back in this one, and uh, he got burned because of it. He got burned pretty good, anyway. Continuing on here, uh, Blake Maxwell looking to put away Matt Burns. There's no tag total shot coming Matt Burns and TJ Taylor's way. I can promise you that. There's no way that the veteran Matt Burns here in the rings in Newfoundland and that young rookie punk are going to get a shot at those beautiful leg lariat by Blake Maxwell. Thought he was going to give us the Blake's gun Blake's go for the cover. One, two, two. Only a two count there. Referee Tyler Marsh and his beautiful mustache in for that two count. And we can see Blake Maxwell here just continuing to pound away on Matt Burns, wearing him down bit by bit. And I, I just think it's just a matter of time before Blake's able to put him away and put an end to this pipe dream of a tag title shot that he has. Well, Blake Maxwell looks to be in full control of this match, and you might actually see that happen sooner than later. But uh, don't sell Matt Burns too short just yet. Oh, well, I'm going to sell him short. Burns is going to put him away. That's all there is to it. Too Did you much. just say Burns is going to put him away? No, Blake's going to put him away in short order. There's no way Matt Burns is going to outsmart Blake Maxwell. It's not going to happen here today. Not going to happen at all. John Biz isn't going to let it happen. They've been watching tapes. They've been doing their homework, getting ready for this matchup. And, uh, ooh, a vicious double clothesline. And we see both men uh, certainly worse for wear off that one. And Tyler Marsh looks about to be ready to count these guys both down. Certainly the count is on as both men look to make their way to their feet. This could be the opportunity that Matt Burns was waiting for if he can get back to his feet in time. Well, he hasn't had much offense here today, Travis. Uh, he just hasn't been able to get out of the gate, it seems. You 
can see that arm still worse for wear. Burns was the clothesline and another one. Burns certainly a house of fire here now. Devastating knee to the face on Blake Maxwell. One, two, come on, Blakey. And Blake barely able to get out. Barely able to escape, Travis. Blake looks to, looks to be not in control of this match anymore. Matt Burns trying to get his wits about him. He realizes he has an opportunity to get back in this thing. He's wasting time. Come on, guys, cheer for me. He's trying to get the fans behind him. Get There's no need to get the fans. Going. There's a tag total shot on the line. He needs to focus if he wants to step up with TJ Taylor and challenge for those titles. And a devastating tornado headbutt there. That's the Matt Burns we've come to know. That is very innovative offense uh, from Matt Burns. Certainly, uh, it's the first time I've seen him do that. Uh, quite a devastating maneuver, and Blake's laid the waste here. There we hey. go. John's he's, he's telling the referee about uh, the apron there. The apron's a little loose. John Burns Biz is up on the rope distracting uh, the referee. Distracting the referee. He's afraid Blake was going to trip when he tries to deliver the devastating axe kick. And he just wanted to let him know that the apron was a little loose. He should take a look at it. Shoots into John Business. No, you can't hit it. Oh, Blake. Oh, no. Biz. Biz is down in a row. One, two, three. Oh, my goodness. And Matt Burns escapes with the victory here. Get him. Get him. I can't believe this is disgusting. John Biz laid the waste off the apron. That's right. Biz, get in. Get some, extract some revenge here. Matt Burns needs to know who's boss. These guys want to step up and challenge for those tag team titles. They're going to learn today. Lay waste to him, Biz. Come on. Make them pay. This is just sour grapes on the part of the family sour business Sour grapes. Here. It isn't sour grapes. He cheated. Held the tights on the roll up there. Assaulted John Business. You could be arrested for that. And here we go. Biz is going to make him pay. Let him have it, Biz. All right. Perfect. That's right, Matt Burns. Next time you want to step to family business. And look at this. It's What's this TJ guy doing Taylor here? coming to the rescue here. He has no business being out here. He Alexander absolutely Gu does. Alexander Guthrie's not out here. He has no business being out here. He has a vested interest Desecrating in this. Desecrating the briefcase. He has a tag title he shot wiped the up. briefcase on his bum. Did you see that? Desecrating the briefcase. He has a tag title shot coming up. He has a vested interest Insult. in making this sure his terrible. tag team Get him out of the ring. Okay. This disrespect. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back after these messages. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here on NEW Evolved, and today we have a nice triple threat match for you. The newly crowned NEW Interprovision Champion is defending his championship almost instantly against Bulldog Brandon Hines and X-Rated Steve Arsenal. Well, you know, I will say this. I'll give the Hellraiser credit. He certainly wasted no time in uh, taking on all comers here in NEW for that newly won uh, interprovincial title, but... I gotta question the logic of stepping into the ring right away with these two top tier performers in New Evolution Wrestling. Well, I think the logic behind it is that Justin Locke is a prize fighter and he wants to make sure that any prize that he has is the top prize in this company. He wants everyone to know that he came to play and he came to fight. Well, certainly, there's no he has no issues fighting with anybody and we see a rare sign of respect here from everybody involved as they all shake hands before this big one and Arsenal wasted no time nailing two of them from behind there and you can see he's wasting time here I don't know about this and the Hellraiser and Bulldog Brandon Hines lay him waste to Steve Arsenal here and they dump him directly over the top rope as you see x-ray is Steve Arsenal the skin in the cat here Bulldog Brandon Hines and Hellraiser the double drop kick from Arsenal Arsenal with a little bit of creative offense on his own that was a beautiful maneuver there taking down both men 
Looks like we're starting to see a little bit of a new side of Arsenal here. Yeah, it seems to be that way. Uh, ever since losing the NEW Heavyweight title, oh, beautiful spinning head scissors there. Ever since losing the NEW Heavyweight title to Dynamite Davis, uh, seen maybe a bit of a softer side, which I can't really say I agree with, out of the X-rated one. Well, maybe he's realizing that he can't showboat and he can't get a little bit egotistical. Maybe the competition, he just realized that he can't take advantage of them and uh, take them for granted. Looks like he's going for a hip toss. That's a big man to get over there. Wow, look, he, he tries it again. And Justin Locke, he shows him how to do a hip toss for good measure. Certainly lays out Steve Arsenal there, and Bulldog Brandon Hines stepping in with a vicious European uppercut. And a second one. Bulldog looks to be in the control of this match now, just for the moment anyways, and Justin Locke with a reversal. Hellraiser razor to the outside, but a slight misstep there. It looks to me like uh, Justin Locke uh, got a little bit ahead of himself in his own momentum there. Now these two no strangers to one another, let me tell you. Former challenger for Arsenal's NEW heavyweight title, Bulldog Brandon Hines and the X-rated one know each other very well. well they, they fought each other in a triple threat match previously here before as well. And uh, they're no strangers, so we'll see what happens. Certainly Bulldog caught there. Arsenal with a lovely drop kick laying out Bulldog Brandon Hines. Arsenal is on fire here today, and once again, I gotta bring into question the Hellraiser's logic in stepping into the ring with these two right out of the gate. He may learn to regret it as time moves on here in this contest. Bulldog Brandon Hines, look, there's a reversal by Steve Arsenal. What's going on here? Arsenal off the ropes and a Bulldog caught. with a big power slam. He's not gonna go for the pin. That's not Huge a very good move. mistake. That's there. a mistake. He could have got the three count right there. Huge mistake after hitting that beautiful move. He decides to get up and... Uh, Too worried about the fans. And he pays for it. Absolutely pays for it. What a... I can't believe he wasted that opportunity there. And here comes Justin Locke finally getting back into the ring. They're trying to anyway. The Hellraiser took a hard fall to the floor. That's certainly uh, what we saw happen there. And another one there from Steve Arsenal. Just absolutely laying the Hellraiser back down. It looks to me like Steve Arsenal at the showboarding bit again here, so maybe he doesn't change as much as we think he has. Yeah. And we both know that Justin Locke and Steve Arsenal have a history as well, and here they are picking up where they left off on the outside of the ring. This, they're no strangers to grappling outside here. No, these two have fought all over the confines of the CLB Armory and NEW Heavyweight Title Contest. And they are no strangers to one another. I have to agree with you there, as sad as that makes me. Just luck over pinfall one. That's right, you're not going to pin Arsenal out there. You need to wear him down. He needs more time. Bulldog Brandon Hines, after taking that vicious shoulder throw into the ring post here, just finally making his way back to his feet. And you can see the after effects of that, clutching his uh, left shoulder there. Bulldog coming up from behind Justin Locke and looks to try to kick, take control over this situation here now. And Justin Locke with an atomic drop. Old school atomic drop there. And a and boot to the face. Absolutely devastating. You're right, Travis. Arsenal team from behind. We see a Russian leg sweep. Next race, Steve Arsenal is going to the top rope. I haven't seen this from him in a long time. He's wasting a bit of time here. He certainly is. Can't waste time in these situations. Where the Bulldog Brandon Hunts it back to his feet and a kick to the stomach. That looked low to me. It might very well have been, but the referee was in a position to call it. No, Tyler Marsh, typically, he's in good position. I'll give him credit. He's much better than that Gerald B. O'Neill we had around here with those glasses. This could be bad. This has a recipe for disaster written all over it. Oh, my goodness. Well, that was a big, devastating maneuver. This might be the chance that Justin Locke needed to get back into this match and, and, and retain his championship.
Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on NEW Evolved, and as we see here, all three participants are exchanging blows right in the middle of the ring. And all three men are worse for wear after that uh, triple suplex maneuver we saw there. The entire commercial break, those men were down, now just making their, making their way back to their feet. Well, it looks to me like Justin Locke is going to have a hard time getting the upper hand in this match if he's not careful. Well, it's defending the title against two men, literally inside the squared circle I, I once again I question his logic here I know I know he's known for stepping up to the plate and putting himself in any situation but at some point in time you have to be a smart champion and try and avoid these type situations I guess you're gonna try to tell me he needs someone like John Biz in his life well you know maybe he does maybe I don't he think does so. I think John, John's great Bulldog Brandon Hines with a clothesline an x-ray to Steve Arsenal and another leg lariat Absolutely laying waste to everybody here. Bulldog Brandon Hines on fire. Bulldog looks like he's trying to set X-rated Steve Arsenal up for something. Maybe that patented cannonball maneuver that he likes to do. And there we go. And he hits it. He nails it. That is a devastating move. But the Hellraiser's back on his feet and lays him out with a vicious lariat. And, a and second another one. one. Justin Locke looks like he's getting control over this match real fast here now. Hellraiser needs to capitalize quick while Arsenal is down. And Hellraiser with a, a side uh, sidewalk slam here, and uh, he's looking and going for the pin. One and oh, X-ray to Steve with Arsenal. Big save. X-ray Steve Arsenal in control of the situation here now against Justin Locke. And Justin Locke with a reversal and another reversal and a clothesline by X-ray to Steve Arsenal. Takes the big man. Another down. one. And a reversal into a neck breaker. And he hits it. And the Hellraiser certainly worse for wear here, Travis. As Arsenal looks to be setting up for something here in the corner. He could easily add another championship to his repertoire here. I think he's wasting time here. And he needs to capitalize while the Bulldog was down. Bulldog's back to his feet. And it looks to me like Arsenal got a little bit of that kick. And Bulldog with a flatliner. Steps in and capitalizes. That's what you got to do in these matches, Kenny. Well, that's exactly what Bulldog Brandon Hines is doing, and uh, right now it looks like he's taunting the crowd, and because of it, the champion is now able to take advantage as Justin Locke has him on the shoulders, and another reversal by Bulldog. And Hellraiser Justin Locke hits his uh, signature maneuver there, the Celtic Cross. One, two, the two count. Very, very, very close there as uh, Bulldog Brandon Hines gets out at 2.9, and the Hellraiser... Looking to put everybody away and keep that title, but I don't know. The odds just seem to be against him here as Arsenal makes his way to his feet for the sneak in. Well, x ray Steve Arsenal has him lifted up for one of his signature maneuvers right now. Look at that power from Arsenal. One, two. Bulldog with the big save there, Travis. This match, a fantastic main event here today on NEW Evolve. Non-stop action, close pinfalls. Bulldog Brandon Hunt's on the receiving end of some kicks from Arsenal there now. It was like devastating there, you can see. He's laying waste to Bulldog Brandon Hunt, scoops him up, the power on display. Justin Locke with a spare on X ray to Steve Arsenal. That's his finish, but he's going to go for the pin right now. Hellraiser notices Bulldog there behind him. Bulldog with a power slam here. Is he going to go for the pinfall? No, he's not. That's twice now. As he's seen, he's seen X ray to getting back to his feet. That's what that was. And he sets him up for it. Looks like his finishing maneuver. Devastating. And the Hellraiser's out. He may have him here, Travis. One, two, three. And Bulldog Brandon Hines is a brand new interprovincial champion. A shocker here today on NEW Evolve. The Hellraiser's first NEW interprovincial title defense does not go his way at all. And we have a new champion once again. Well, it looks to me like Justin Locke found out the hard way just how competitive the championship divisions are here in New Evolution Wrestling. Justin Locke uh, just at a loss here today on NEW Evolved. I can't believe it. A victim of the numbers game and a new interprovincial champion, Bulldog Brandon Hines. And a well-deserved victory, I might add. He put on a good performance here today, and he capitalized on an opportunity when he had the chance. As you can see the replay here, Locke hits his patented spear. He's going for the pinfall, but... He noticed Bulldog out of the corner of his eye, got up, and then ate a huge power slam. Bulldog, with that ring awareness, was able to hit his finishing maneuver. And he gets the three count here. As we see the referee on the replay go for the count. One, two, three, as Justin Locke could not get back in in time. 
And that's it, fans, here today on NEW Evolved. We have a brand new interprovincial champion, Bulldog Brandon Hines. And Steve Arsenal looks on in shock here today, much like the rest of us here on NEW Evolved. An absolutely shocking result, and a new champion is crowned. This is a night of underdogs here, a new evolution wrestling as we see X ray Steve Arsenal get to his feet, and Justin Locke. This has got to be bittersweet for the Hellraiser. I mean, brand new championship reign comes to a crashing halt. When you see a handshake and an embrace here on the part of Justin Locke, that's good sportsmanship. Arsenal can't shake this guy's hands. There's too much. Yes, he can. Willie. Believe it. Don't do it, Arsenal. Don't do it. Willie? No. Oh. oh, he is. You can see a bit of tension there, but he did it. What a, shiny, a show of respect here. I can't believe it. I'm in shock. We got a new champion. Arsenal's turning all soft as he raises the new champion's hand. And Bulldog Brandon Hines soaks in the adulation of the fans here in the CLB Armory as we crown our third interprovincial champion in New Evolution Wrestling history. Evolution Wrestling would like to thank the following supporters. Greco Pizza, Torbay Road, Adam Tucker Photography, TPI Travel Agent, Kayla Gavin, EJ Cram's Home Hardware, The Hub Printing and Catering, JC's Entertainment.